Hi guys, Marika here with another card tutorial and this card today is for the clean and simple challenge over at Make It Crafty which this month is interaction so come play with us it would be really really nice if you come play with us you don't have to make something over the top it's a clean and simple challenge it's just a clean and simple card so today I'm coloring some fishes for it because I have want to have a slider card with some fishes and these are some koi fishes and I'm coloring like koi fishes like real koi fishes so I did a google search on koi fishes and then I kind of figured out how I wanted them and I'm doing something simple with my coloring I'm doing all my shading in my gray so instead of trying to make room for the orange splatters I'm just shading the whole fish in grays and then I'm adding the orange on top and because Copics are translucent I actually get the shadow shadowing for free on the orange part also on the last fish I'm using two different oranges and that is just because I wanted to have two different colors of orange or darkness of orange in the different splatters that the koi fishes have so yeah and all of the copics used are listed in the description below as always even though the list today was very very small uh, also all the materials used is also in the description below these fishes are printed on some make it color uh, blending cardstock uh, and I have a link down below if you want to find where you can buy them uh, it's actually my absolute favorite paper to use when I do my coloring so yeah I'm cutting them out with my uh, cutter B scissors I'm first doing a rough cut because that will make it much easier to come into all of those crevices when you don't have a whole bunch of paper in the way and then I'm going in with my Martha Stewart craft knife to cut out those middle parts and yeah then the fishes are done so we're going in with the background the background today is simply a um, ombre effect blending uh, onto some watercolor cardstock. I'm using watercolor cardstock because I'm going to do some splatter effects but also because uh, the distress ink blends wonderfully on watercolor cardstock. And I'm blending it with some tumbled glass, some broken china and in the bottom I actually have some um, oh stormy sky that's the word stormy sky um, I'm actually gonna go in with some uh, sapphire some I just don't get words in my head uh, today I'm really really sorry but um, some shipped sapphire that's the word in the bottom to make it a little bit darker because I like to have my bottom of my like ocean scenes to be a little bit darker then I'm going to go in with some water to do some splatters. I just spray some water in the middle of my hand and then I do some finger flicks. Um, there is some wonderful spray bottles. I know Thim Holtz have a Distress uh, spray bottle that makes beautiful splatters. I just haven't invested in that yet. But you can just as easily just use your fingers as I'm doing here. After I have done my splatters I wait for about 30 seconds and then I add my paper on top to uh, remove the excess water and you get these beautiful white splatters this also hides if you haven't done a perfect job of blending so now I'm kind of portioning out my fishes where I want to have them before I start my sliders and I'm gonna do my sliders by hand and when I do my sliders by hand, I start by going in with a pencil. So I'm kind of figuring out uh, how far my fish can go. And I'm not doing it edge from edge from the nose of the fish. I'm kind of planning that I want to have, I'm gonna have some foam tape uh, underneath the fish. And I'm planning on from where that foam tape is and then how far to the edge I can kind of allow it to go and this is a very also put the fit the other fish there to kind of figure out how high 
or how much of a slope I can do on my little um, canal there, on my slider canal. Uh, and then I'm doing the same with the last fish. And they are different lengths, these different slider thingies. And this is because um, they kind of went that way. I didn't really plan everything fully, but I kind of, kind of like it. After I have kind of measured it out with my pen, I'm actually going in with my Martha Stewart craft knife to cut it and cut those slides. And when you do cut them slides, if you use a craft knife to do it, you want to have a ruler that is either a fully metallic ruler or like this Tim Holt ruler, which I really, really love, uh, which have a metallic edge because then you won't uh, destroy your ruler by cutting into it. Um, there is dies out there and I'm going to list a couple of them in the description down below. If you don't want to do this by hand as I do, you can do it with dies. Uh, I know that both Lawn Fawn and uh, my favorite things have dies to do these kind of things. But I don't have those dies and it actually works just as good with just a craft knife and a ruler. It takes a little bit more time and a little bit more planning. But one of the things that is nice with it is that you can actually get those um, little canals to be different lengths because that is how it end up being here. I'm actually having the upper ones are longer than the lower ones of the canals. And then I'm just using uh, the craft knife to do kind of a circular edge there. Uh, you can do a straight edge or you can use a little punch to get a circle one. I'm just using my craft knife to cut it out. And that is the slider part done. Then I'm doing a card base. It's just some Nina 80 pound cardstock um, cut at half, which is five and a half and then scored at four and a quarter. Uh, to kind of hide the slider thingies a little bit, I'm going in with the same inks as I used for the um, for the blending on the front side. But I don't really care about trying to get it perfectly blended or anything because it's just so that uh, you kind of hide, um, don't get that stark white behind that page. I'm using a small little die there and I'm cutting out some circles to have behind the fishes. Um, they are going to be the thing that locks the fishes in at the sliders. Um, it's just a... it's from a blueprint from MFT. Uh, I just thought it was a, a good circle. You can just cut the circle out by hand because you won't see it. I just was there. Um, also a little tip for that is that if you do have coins that might actually be a better thing because then you have some weight to them and they can kind of slide a little bit better. But I put a little bit of a foam piece on the back side and then I'm just pushing down my little fish on top of that. So I'm holding that little circle with the with my fingers and then I'm pushing the fish down on top of it. But if you had coins they would move faster. It's just that in Sweden we don't have those small coins like a penny. We don't have that size so I use small pieces of paper instead. Uh, also I have a double of the foam on the sides of the card and just a single layer of foam in those slits then it also helps the fishes to move a little bit easier. So yeah. Um, and that is the front side of the card done. Then you can kind of just play around with the fishes. And just because they don't really have a weight to them, uh, you have to kind of move them with your hands. They won't move that good by themselves. But they, well, you can move them. And that's kind of the idea behind the card. Uh, to finish it off, I'm going to have sentiment and I'm going to put it on the inside. So I'm going to use this happy mail sentiment from Create a Smile Stamps. 
and I'm just uh, using my Versafine Onyx Black because I really like the blackness of that ink and I stamp it on the inside and that is the card for today I'm using my Lawn Fawn uh, stamp chamois to clean my stamp off also but yeah that is the card for today I hope you liked it if you do please thumbs it up it means a lot to me in the description down below you find all the details, all the supplies used and links to all the supplies used in today's card. And also uh, you down there you find the comment section, so if you have any questions just comment down below. Here are two other videos I did with the Make It Crafty stamps. But thank you again for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!